Ready. Hello, I'm back here in Colorado with uh, Lee. He came over to Dubai and uh, they invited us here. And after we came back from Dubai, he wanted it that you would like to see it work about the mall and all of that. Oh, there's tremendous potential. It's uh, amazing how little people realize uh, what temperatures they're in over there. Uh, including in some of those malls, they're a lot warmer than they, they expected. If you ask them, they, they give you one temperature and what the actual temperature is, it's much higher. Another interesting thing is, is, is the amount of the number of potential things. There's air conditioning, all of the uh, uh, different uh, bus stops and, and, and uh, other places there uh, that we, we do a far better job of, of cooling. Uh, there's just a huge amount of potential there, with the, especially with the, with the temperatures that they see on a regular basis all year round. Okay, Steve, what is this? This is just a, uh, a, a test rate to measure, uh, CFN to measure how fast the air is flowing and quantities so that we can, we can add, uh, adequately test our equipment and know for sure what, what, uh, what air flows we have. Okay. Now uh, you uh, actually saw the heat and the humidity and the various uh, telecommunication sites and all of that. So we need about 30 degrees centigrade in a BTS site on a telecom tower. So what, which of these units do you advise us to put? The 30 you were saying is a good one for the BTS site. Can you say something about this unit? Well, the M30 will probably take care of most of your telecommunication sites. They have a they have a, a fair of, uh, okay. You want to see it? Yeah. They, they have a fairly high heat load for a very small portion of a building, and so it's just a matter of us providing enough airflow in the unit to to give a. Uh, make it for the air that the, that the server is pulling through it or the, the telecommunications equipment. They've got little fans in the telecommunications equipment. We've got to provide as much air as those are pulling uh, at 30 degrees or below in order to cool those off. And, and uh, that I think we can, we can pretty well do. So basically we need to look at the telecommunications equipment and then size this it will run, This will run on solar panel? Oh yeah, this, is, this will pull less than uh, 400 watts. 400 watts. That means we can do two solar panels of 200 watts each, and this will run. So run all day, day and night because we'll have enough battery storage and run all night long. So with uh, the six solar panels, it will be 24 hours non-stop. And then we can do the same thing for bus stops or telecommunication towers and all of that. That would mean that every telecommunication company in the world which is using diesel generators and there's huge air conditioners that are out each BTS site, it costs $50,000 a year on diesel cost. Yes. Yeah, right. So yeah. that is therefore paid itself off in three to five months' time, and then it's free. That's correct. You guys have done a great job, sir. Thank it you. It is a pleasure being here. It's a pleasure being here. You guys have done a great job. You're saving the planet. You're saving the carbon that is being emitted out. You the greenhouse gas effect and all of that. So today it was a pleasure being here, really appreciate it, going through all of this and we will publish and broadcast this to the whole world to see as to what is available. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.